Here I have an empty project. We'll set the window size to 800 by 600 pixels. The layout to the same dimensions. Two layers, one for the gameplay objects and one for the user interface objects. The gameplay layer is set to a solid black color background. So let's start with the ship. Insert a new sprite object, name it ship. Check for a correct polygon collision shape and since our ship will rotate, be sure to set your sprite facing right or zero degrees. Be sure to have the origin at the center, close the editor and place the ship in the middle of the screen. So let's add to our ship the wrap, custom movement, and rotate behaviors. Set rotation speed to zero. We need now to control our ship, so insert a keyboard object. Now in the event sheet, add a new event, it's key down, click to select the key, in this case the up arrow, add an action ship, Custom Movement, Accelerate Toward Angle, let's say 200, and in, and in Angle select Ship Angle. This means that it will accelerate to where it's facing. Next, at the, sa at the same event, but this time select the condition and choose Invert. If up arrow is not down, it accelerates minus 50. In other words, the ship will decelerate. At a new event, this time on key pressed, right arrow. Ship. Rotate, set speed to 360, so the ship will complete a full turn in one second. Copy the event by control drag. Double click to the condition to edit, and double click on the action and change it to minus 360. The ship moves forward, decelerates, but keeps spinning, and that's not what we want. So let's add an event on key released. Right. Right click the event and select OR block. Add another, add another condition on key released, left. Ship, rotate, set speed to zero. This means in both cases the ship will stop rotating. The last control is the teleport. On key pressed, down arrow, ship, 
Shift, Set Position to Random Window Width and Random Window Height. In this example, we set the windows width to 800 and height to 600. So this random expression will give you a random value from 0 to something less than 800 and 600, like 799.9999. This way the ship will teleport to any position in the screen. Now we need a rocket animation for our ship. First go back to the ship and add a new image point, name it Thrust. and set it behind our ship. Then create a new sprite, name it Thrust, Right-click in the Animation Frames bar to add a new frame, set the Animation Frame to 8, right-click to preview it, also set the Loop option to Yes, and set the Initial Visibility to Visible. Create a new event system on the start of layout. Thrust set position to another object. Select the ship and type image point thrust. Now that we know it's working, Find the up arrow event and add another action. Set visibility to visible. And when up arrow is not down, set visibility to invisible. Go back to the thrust and add a new behavior called pin. Now on the start layout, after we set the position, pin it to the ship. The pin behavior will set the position and angle of an object relative to other. In this case, the thrust angle and position depends on the ship. That's all for now. In the next video, we'll be firing bullets and playing some sounds. Thanks for watching. See you next time.